Hi, and welcome back to another episode. This week, Mum and Dad fly to Turkey and leave Taj and I on the boat by ourselves. So let's go see what we get up to this week. This is filmed and edited by me, so I hope you enjoy. We're an Australian family that set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Hi baby, I love you. So Taj and I are in our friends unit on the beach. Thanks Chuck and Deb for letting us stay here while mum and dad go to Europe. So yesterday mum and dad left. They uh, got to spend the morning here and then yeah they left. So this is where Taj and I have been staying this our first day without mum and dad. It's actually pretty sad. I miss them and um, yeah we're going to be spending the next couple of days by ourselves here and then a couple more days on the boat. Tonight's dinner, wild caught Alaskan halibut, thanks to Mark and Wendy, with avocado salad and hot chocolates. It was delicious. Call me out, tiger. Call me out, why don't you? Lift me up higher Above the clouds, won't you love? When the scenery is right Go right in I want to fall deep within Don't leave me hanging Just cause I'm too proud Whisper away my outdated doubts Somebody do me the courtesy Dress me down I'm not that old yet I'm far too young To not stand my ground But my ways are mine It is our last full day in this apartment and then we're gonna go back onto the boat and um, yeah we just want to say a massive thank you to Chuck and Deborah for letting us stay here while mum and dad are in Turkey it has been so nice we'll go back on the boat tomorrow and they'll be back in like three days so yeah just thank you so much we've had such a nice time and I filmed a little bit but not much anyway i am wearing a top i'm wearing a swimmer top it looks like i'm not wearing anything been enjoying the beach the pool the big nice area the shower the toilet all of that stuff we just got back to the boat here's moritai eating some food oh i missed him we did come and check on moritai every day once or twice a day we're only gone for four days but the little cutie, I think he's happy that we're back. Yeah, we still have three or four more days without mum and dad. I don't know yet, but I'm gonna maybe attempt to varnish my bedroom. 
as you would have seen I varnished the bathroom quite a while ago because we got a heap of total boat varnish and we've been planning to just slowly go through the boat and varnish yeah I did my anchor locker the rots fixed in my deck so now I'm just like I think we're gonna just slowly work through like we'll make my room all nice I can like finish the corridor of where Taj and I's room not well not in the next couple of days I'll hopefully just do my room in the next couple of days I think anyway I'm gonna try it's gonna be the biggest room I varnished I did our bathroom but there's not that much wood in there had a nice holiday and a break and it was so nice but yeah I'm gonna try to do this like complete a whole thing while mum and dad are in Turkey I'm probably gonna regret it I can already see myself like it's a pretty big room it's a lot of sanding I'm just happy to be back with my baby hey baby He's so happy to see us. Yesterday when we came to check on him in the morning, we like went in mum and dad's room and he had cut, oh sorry mommy, he had cut his the bottom of his foot on dad's razor because he was in mum and dad's bathroom. The razor cut the bottom of his little pad on his foot, which is really sad. It wasn't deep or anything, but we went in it. I was like, oh, what happened? Because there was blood paw prints all over mum and dad's white doona all over the toilet, all over the sink. It was like a bloody murder scene. So yeah, it was so sad. But anyway, I went and bleached mum and dad's doona up in the apartment because I had a washing machine. And then today I came back and Taj had left our bathroom open, which we had like, uh, I think it's called a peacefully, which are like kind of poisonous to cats. And um, where did I find Moritai? He was up on my shelf in my bathroom, knocked over the peacefully. I could smell dirt and I'm like, I'll show you. You little naughty bubba. Yeah, so I don't think he may have nibbled at it. And the reason I want to varnish it now is because we fixed the rot in the deck, but we didn't actually screw in the block yet. So we have to leave my roof off until we get the bolts and we can bolt it back up. So I'm like, while it's already apart, I might as well varnish it. I'll show you how much there is to varnish. So my room is already apart, and like it's pretty big, there's the floor, it's like, it's all wood. Alright, so it's day one of being back on the boat without mum and dad, it's time to get into some boat work. I don't have to do this and I could just relax until mum and dad get back, because once they get back we're going to have to sand and paint the deck, put the mask back on, do a lot of stuff. But you know I can't just sit here so I am going to be varnishing my room oh hello <laughs> so I've got to clear my room out I've taken the mattresses out I still have a couple more things that I need to take out and then I can start sanding I don't think it's gonna to be too hard it probably is. I'm probably going to regret it halfway through, but I just know as soon as I'm finished, it's just going to be the best feeling. And honestly, there isn't that much wood. There's a little bit. There's quite a lot. It's scratched up and around here is pretty bad. It's hopefully going to look nice if I stuff it up. It's a lot of wood. Alright, so this week, while mum and dad are away, Taj is working on a custom design. It's very awesome and if you two would like a custom design made by Taj Rice, where do you have to go? Over to my website. <laughs> At artoftaj.com and you too can be one of the cool people who have a custom design by Taj. And that is what he's up to this week.
There's all a epoxy that sealed this part of the roof off, so I think I'll just have to try not get it on that part of the roof. Alright, the sanding is about to start. Once you start, you gotta commit, so let's get started. on my room is the sander broke two days before mum and dad were coming back the sander broke and I could not finish sanding the room I could have by hand but it wasn't really getting anywhere so I decided to stop wait for dad to come back to see if we needed a new sander or if he could fix it so last night dad pulled a part of the sander and fixed it they came back yesterday Dad fixed the sander today, so I'm going to be able to continue sanding the room and hopefully be done with it today or tomorrow. Sanding, and then I have to varnish, but that should only take one day because now that all four of us are back on the boat, it is taking a lot of room up in the lounge room. So, yeah, I was hoping to get it done before they came back. But that didn't happen, so hopefully, I'm going to get to do it in the next couple of days. Thanks for watching that episode. We hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Press that like button if you did enjoy. And, well, yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye. See ya.